My head shall be lifted up above my enemies. Secondly, David spoke of promotion. He was not just speaking of victory. He also spoke of his promotion. I say unto you today, your promotion is on the way. Your promotion is on the way. God is about to lift your head above all of your enemies. You're going to get a lift today. The Spirit of God is here to lift you. Not just to shift you, but to lift you. God is about to lift you. I said God is about to lift you. God sent two angels to lift Lot out of his comfort zone. He was satisfied with Sodom and Gomorrah. He was satisfied with the wealth of that land. He never knew that that wealth was coming to an end and going to be scorched with the wrath of God. Let me tell you there are some places that God will lift you up out of because his wrath is coming to consume that. I thank God for the places that he consumed in my life because if that did not catch on fire, I would have remained there. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying to somebody. Somebody is lamenting over, you know, the places that God burned up. I'm telling you, thank God that fire burned up that place because you were getting too used to that place. And God says, I have a better place and you're satisfied with this place. Everything looks good on this place, but I have a better place for you. Shut up and get up. And if you don't, he'll carry you up. Amen. The Lord will lift your head above your enemies. That's what David spoke of. He spoke of promotion. Somebody right here has been weeping because you've been stuck for too long in the place where you are, you are in. Let me tell you today, the word of the Lord to you this morning, from the word of God to you, it is, there is a lifting. There is a lifting up. There is a promotion coming your way. Everybody say, promotion is mine in Jesus' name. Come on, say it one more time. Promotion is mine in Jesus' name. Say it a third time because in the mouth of two or three witnesses, a truth shall be established. Say promotion is mine in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Promotion is mine. Promotion is yours. Promotion is the church's. You have every right to be promoted even in a pandemic. My promotion is near. The Bible says uh, your promotion does not come from the east or from the west. Your promotion comes from the Lord of hosts who created the heavens and the earth. I tell you, if God is in your life, promotion is certain. Ask, ask the shepherd boy David, he'll tell you. He'll tell you, if you worship God long enough on the lonely hills, you'll soon have his promotion in the public places. If you can praise him alone, he'll publicly elevate you. Because what God sees in secret, he rewards openly. Are you ready for some public, uh, you know, elevation? Are you ready for God to put you as his, you know, advertisement board? His advertisement billboard. Are you ready for God, you know, to advertise about you on the billboard? Saying, this child is, you know, destined for promotion. You are destined for promotion. Let me show you. Turn with me to Psalm 3, please. Verse 3. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. But you, O Lord, are a shield to me. That's what I want. <laughs> Have you got God as your shield, my friend? Have you got God as your shield? I can't hear you. I, I, have you got God as your shield? Yes. Then you are protected. No missile of the enemy will get past. Uh-huh. You got to see where David said that. If you look at your psalm, you know, this, the, the, the psalm 3. Below that it says, the Lord helps to trouble people in, you know, in the subtitle. Now watch the subtitle. A psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, a son. Promotion in the midst of perplexity. Promotion in the midst of perplexity. Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Have you ever, have you ever had an increase of troublemakers in your life? 
all the time bombarding you, you know, all the time speaking something rotten in your ears. How they have increased. I'll, let me tell you this. Troublemakers will increase in your life. Make no mistake. If you're climbing up the ladder of promotion, make sure you got some haters on your journey. If you don't like it, you better quit right now. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But I like that. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. If you have a voice to speak, I have a voice to speak too. The problem with the church is, we allow them to have the voice and we give them the ear. We are giving them the ear and letting them speak and then crying. See what they are saying about me, pastor. See how they are hurting me. See how much I've been, you know, down in my life through. Listen, as long as you give ear to them, you're going to die. You're going to drown. You're never going to make it. But when they speak about you and say there is no help, you got to say, but. Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear the but from you now. But. See the difference? How did I say it and how you're seeing it? But. You just said, but. I said, but. but. And already five times I said it in that tone and you still didn't catch it. Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hurting you, but listen, I, I'm trying to get to you what the spirit of the God is trying to say to you. See, it's, it's my job not just, just give you the truth and walk away. I got to get into your spirit. I cannot afford to send you away with you just not getting. I want you to know that whenever the enemy speaks about you and says your God is not there. You got to say, but. Excuse me, but. You got to look at them and say, excuse me, but, 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 but. Because if you have a but, then they'll shut up. But. Watch this. But you. Oh Lord, <laughs> who are you going to talk to when they say there is no God to help you? You're going to lift up, lift up and say, but you are, you oh Lord are what? A shield to me. I love that. You oh Lord are a shield to me. My glory and the lifter of my head. Meaning God was more than David's protection. He said you are a shield. But he didn't stop there. My glory. Excuse me church. You're wondering why this guy is so worked up today. I, I got my glory with me today. My glory is here. My glory is my Jesus. My glory is my Abba. My daddy. My father. My glory. I got my glory right now. You can't expect me to weep. I got my glory. Ah yeah pastor. Life is good for you. Ah. Come check. Please come check. If you get close enough, you will know. How is this man living in the midst of all this? My glory. But you, O Lord, are my shield, but not just my shield. You are my glory. Everybody say, God is my glory. Is my glory. Say, my Jesus is my glory. Jesus. Come on, say, my Jesus is my glory. Jesus. Come on, say, my Jesus is my glory. I'm telling you, he's my glory in the classroom. He's my glory in the doctor's room. He's my glory in the sick room. He's my glory in the hospital. He's my glory in the ICU. He's my glory in the loneliness. He's my glory in when I have no money. He is my glory. No matter what I'm going through. He is my glory. He is my glory. I cannot lose the fight. He is my glory. I cannot quit. He is my glory. I cannot give up in the fight. He is my glory. I might weep, but I'm not weeping out of despair. I'm weeping in confidence because he is my glory. Yes, they can talk as much as they want. They can say there is no God. There is no God to help them. But my glory is with me. It does not, please listen. It does not matter what the people say about you. You got to lift up your voice and say, my God, my glory is with me. It's what you say that determines what happens to you tonight. Not what the prophet says. My glory. Let me tell you, the haters can prophesy all they want and say, there is no God to help you. You got to say, but my glory is with me. Nobody knows that better than you. Hallelujah. Come on, nobody knows how close God is than you. Nobody knows where God is than you. 
in your life nobody knows not even me even I don't know where God is in your life but you know so if I have to come up upon you and as your pastor talk in the flesh and say you know God is far from you you went away from God you got to say mm -hmm. so much for being a pastor huh you got to say, sorry, sir, this is, I, I, I love you as my, as my shepherd, but there are some things I cannot accept because my glory is with me. You don't know. You, you might know your God. You might know the Bible, but you don't know where he is in my life. My glory is with me right now. My glory is with me. My glory. Oh, come on. My glory is with me. He says, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. So God is, was more than David's protection. Watch this. He also was the one who put David on higher ground. God sent me to tell you today, tell every one of you today, God's getting you ready for higher ground. I said, God is getting you ready for higher ground. Higher ground spiritually. Higher ground mentally. Higher ground emotionally. Do I have a witness in here? God is getting you ready for higher ground. Don't mess with the people that buried you with the disgusting talk. I'm telling you, quit listening to their junk because you were not created to be in their trunk. They are trying to lock you in the trunk of garbage. No, you are not garbage to mix with the garbage. You are a precious diamond. You are a pearl of great price. Get out of the trunk and say, I am more worthy than what you are talking. I'm coming out. Anybody stirring yourself today and say, I'm coming out. You got to get sick and tired of being in their prison. What business they got to lock up your potential? What business does the devil have to lock up your grace? What business that he, does he have to lock up your greatness? God's put some greatness inside of you and he's trying to get your attention and he's screaming in your ear and you're not hearing him but you're hearing all the people talk about you. And all you can think about day and night is what they're talking about but God is saying, hey, listen to me. You are my precious pride. I said you are my precious pride. I take pride in you. Don't let the gossip fool you. Don't let the gossip stop you. Don't let the market language disturb your destiny. You're built for more than this. May I say this? You are made for more than this. Please write that down. I am made for more than what I am. I am made for more than what I am. I am not what I am going through. Oh, this is all prophetic. I don't care what you think. Nothing is from the notes. And you better take this word, church. It's for you and me. It's for you and me. I am more than what I'm going through. I am more than what I've been through. I said I am more than what I've been through. You're wondering how you survived all of that? Because there's more to you. Others who are having off your problems are in a mental asylum. On antidepressants. But the only reason you are in your sane sober mind is because there's more to you than what you're going through. That is somebody's prophetic word. That is somebody's rhema word. You're coming out of that trunk. God sent me to tell you, I am your glory. I'm not just your protection as a shield. I'm the one who is the lifter of your head. That means I'll put you on higher ground. I'm getting ready to put you on higher ground. For everything that you went through, higher ground is your reward. For everything that you suffered, higher ground is your reward. For everything that the haters did to you, higher ground is your reward. For every backlash against you, higher ground is your reward. For everybody that said all kinds of, you know, ghastly things about you, higher ground is your reward. Higher ground. Lifting his head and showing his glory. Showing him glory is God's adventure. 
lifting your head and showing you his glory, his God's venture today. Please listen. There was nothing glorious or lifting up in his circumstances. There was nothing glorious or lifting up in his circumstances. But there was in his God. Where are you looking today? Or what are you looking at today? There is nothing glorious and uplifting in your circumstances. But there is glory and a lifting up in your God. Shift your perception. Shift your focus from the circumstances to the God about your circumstances. And glory will descend on your life. Believe me, glory will descend on your life. Hmm. What a man this, this shepherd boy was. Running from his son Absalom. Is there, a, is there, you know, a greater tragedy than that? He hardly had anything more than clothes on his back. And yet he's able to say, but you are a shield to me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. What a man of God. He was not focused on his circumstances. He was so focused on his God. He could not see the circumstances. He could only see his God. Too many of us are seeing the circumstances in God. When we are to see God in the circumstances. That's why many of us are stuck at the circumstances. But if you start, stop looking at the circumstances and start looking at God, you will see your circumstances are chicken feed to him. They are nothing. Because with one word, he can wipe your, you know, heartbreaking past into a heavenly downloaded future of glory. Please listen. Men find glory in all sorts of things. Fame. Wealth, power, prestige, possessions. That's where men find their glory. Men find their glory in all these things. But please listen. David found glory in the Lord. David found his glory in the Lord. Please listen, church. I speak to my soul quite often like David did. I learn to talk like David nowadays. Oh, my soul, have you made God your glory? I talk to myself. Oh, my soul, have you made God your glory? Please listen. Others may boast, and with this I'll stop. Others may boast in their wealth, beauty, position, achievements others may boast in that in their wealth their fortune their position their prestige you know their achievements they even may boast about their beauty please listen i want to ask you my soul i want to ask you do you find in god what they find in these do you find in god what they find in the beauty in the position eh? in the achievements in the accomplishments, in the power, the wealth, the fame, the fortune. You know, they're finding glory in that. I'm asking my soul, I'm asking you to ask your soul, have you found in God all of that that they find in that? Because if you do, this message will be yours. Amen. Let's stop there.